morning, y'all. Welcome back to the channel. So we've got a very busy day ahead of us. We're heading to Redneck Mud Park over in Ponte Gorda, Florida, hosted by Trucks Gone Wild. But the only thing is we're actually still in Vegas right now from SEMA. So, whew, truck's already on the trailer back home. See, pretty bitching. So all you gotta do is get home and we can head down and down to Ponte Gorda, Florida, go rip some mud. Man, it's an early morning, but pretty cool. We're waking up in Vegas and going to sleep at Redneck Mud Park. Super bitchin'. So, thanks for watching, guys. Hope you like our Redneck Mud Park video. All right, Vegas. Till next time. Because we got a mud ball to get to. Tell you what. Toledo, back in Florida. Well, so far this weather freaking sucks. Yeah, I left Vegas to come deal with this crap. It's freaking pouring out. Good mud dogging though. Boom, I'm dead. This out of the entire ride is how you test how well you chain down your truck. Oh. Well, we have successfully made it to RYC, but it is a freaking swamp here. It's been raining for the past two days. It is some soupy stuff. Yeah. I'm going to head over to the lane and see what kind of monkey business they got going on over there. Oh boy.
glad it's a wrap on day one of ROIC. Well, night one. But we made it. I'm gonna rest here at camp, maybe get some food. And then bright and early, it's bogging time. We got well, good night, old girl. You did awesome today. Please keep it coming. Good morning, y'all. Boy, it is freaking muddy out there today. Look at this. Looks like we're in the mud hole. That's where we're gonna run to uh, races later. <laughs> yeah, apparently, right outside of where we're sleeping. Look how freaking muddy it is right here at camp. Oh, Ford's stuck. Ah, typical. Well, look, this is our. Whoa, God. It's really deep. Yeah, this is the camping area. Freaking rowdy. Hopefully it's not too quiet. Like usually this area has got a lot more people camping in it. Like it's freaking empty back there. But with it being so freaking muddy out and everyone getting stuck every five seconds, RYC closed the gates and they're not letting anyone else in. Even if you have a prepaid ticket or anything, they're not letting you in. Kind of sucks. But I don't think I totally agree with that approach because what if you had traveled from like good ways away like Georgia or like North Carolina just to be here for Saturday and Sunday and they don't let you in? Or imagine if I came home early from Vegas, freaking all my truck all the way here, did all that loading prior to going to Vegas, got here and they wouldn't let me in. I'd been pissed that I left SEMA a day early. I kind of get where they're coming from, but I also get where the people are coming from. Without further ado, let's go hit the mud park, baby. Damn, usually no side by sides allowed on main grade. But no one can get back there. So everybody's out here. Well, we're just passing by on the way to the mud hole, and we got flagged over to a truck tug. Cool. It is about 12 o'clock and we still have not made it to the muffle quite yet. We had to pull out Brian, then we had to pull out two other trucks, and then I got flagged over to do that truck tug. So at least we gotta do the truck tug and we freaking won. Yeah! Man, I'm fired up. So we're gonna go watch the truck races, watch mega truck races, and then we'll go to the mud hole. Guess who got designated to be the flag truck for the truck races? Freaking killing it. Super bitching. So we got front row seats. She's gonna call us, we're gonna pull on out there, put that massive American flag on display for the national anthem, and we're gonna watch the mega truck race. Oh look, we got Chase and Paper Pete. I was like, hey, so my name's Sam, he's right here. He's part of the Dirty Seven, he's a pretty cool dude. I like hanging out with him. With the American forces on the trailer. Man. But your thing, it, it don't yep. Moving on. Right, look at this. Look at the view we're gonna get. Look at this. Boom. They're gonna leave from right there. And go do the jumps and the laps and everything right there. The announcer's gonna be right here. I guess we're gonna be right freaking here. Yeah.
super muddy.
Okay, game over. Dana's going to show us his skills here. All right, here we go. Fresh out of the cooler. Nice cold one. There we go. Nice. Here we go.
Attention with a knife, people. Oh boy, got a little buddy on that one. Hey, kids, that is right, but it's still alive. Well, how was that? Uh, we made it. We made it. Hey, did you pop up for a little bit? Holy Toledo. Oh, man. Hey, it was awesome, bro. You killed it. You killed it. Awesome, man. Yeah, he confirmed to hear about food in his pants. I would have too. Yeah, good for him. I'm glad he didn't lose his truck. That would suck.
bad RYC, not a bad RYC at all. We've got the truck posted up over at the lane. We're gonna cruise back over to camp and get some food and then watch the madness unravel at RYC's lane. Oh boy, super freaking killing it. All right, y'all, a little change of plans. So it turns out this is already a pretty long video and I don't wanna sell y'all short on what's going on at the lane tonight. So I'm gonna pinch this one off here now. I'm gonna go ahead and post another video of what we run into at the lane. And on a side note, all y'all that hit me up and go, it's not called the lane, it's called Pity Lane. Yes, I know that. But even my little channel gets censored all the time for the stupidest stuff. Some stuff slips through here and there. But I try to be on my A-game, so that's why I call it the lane. But anyways, I hope y'all enjoyed the video from the mud hole, from the truck racing, and from a little bit of truck tugging we did. Go ahead and subscribe to the channel so you can see when I drop the next video. It should be relatively about the same time. So, thanks for watching, y'all. If y'all enjoyed the video, subscribe to our channel. Hit that button right there. While you're at it, hit the like button at the bottom of your screen. You can also check out our website, killingitlifestyle.com. There you can follow the Killing It crew and order your own apparel so everyone will know you're super killing it.